Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Or, so all of you. Remember now, we don't have good morning. And this is how they used to say it at the ground, especially, or even at um, church, or even at a wake, they'd say, Did y'all make it through the night okay? And that we don't have good morning. And you and know, you know why we didn't have that? It's kind of weird, you know, for our people not to have good morning when we, uh, and we don't have goodbye, you know? So this is kind of a, um, um, something that we said, did you make it through the night? Okay. Okay. Okay, vocabulary. Any questions on what we went over? The previous class, um, it was um, the words he, yeah, he, yeah, means this, ma, this and that, okay? He, it, jogat, os. This is a, this is paper, but when you, and I speak like jogat, os, he, it, that's how I speak, okay? I don't put that D by the noun. I don't put that, I separate it. And I kind of went to, like I said before, I went and asked elders, you know, and they said they speak like kind of like I do, but there are some people that puts that D by the noun. Much is that, yet is this, this and that, okay? Um, he a jogat oa, or you can say he a jogat oa. Is this a book? Is this a book? Ma ish ko jetskat os, or ma ish ko jetskat os. That is a pen. Either way, it's, it's uh, understood by speakers. Either way you say it. I'll know what you're talking about. Now I've heard, I've seen people that still speaks like this, put the D by the, put the D over here by the noun. I've still, I still, I still know speakers like that. I still know them that still speaks like that. But um, I just, I do the doors. I put the, separate the doors from the noun. That's how I do it. And it can, you know, either way, I can understand you if you spoke to me like that. So either way, I know how I can understand you. So doa is it means is it jogat oa or joga doa. Joga is a book and is it is doa. And remember, is is dos. Is it, it's a filler. Ehe jogat os or ehe jogat os. Okonaga. Okay, I broke this all down. Remember now, stop me if you had questions. Here has his keith got os. Here has his keith got os. This is a clock. Okay. Either way, this is understood. Bokot oa. Bokot oa. See right here is this. Bukodoa, this is this, this. No, it is a clock. Monks has his keith got os. Monks has his keith got os. And I wrote them two different ways so that, because this is the way I speak right here, put the doors. That's how I speak. <laughs> this is my friend. It is a girl. Here, and he sit os. Hook deet os. Or you can say hook deet os. But I would say here anhisidosh, hoktidosh. Or I wouldn't even say that. I would say here anhisid, hoktidosh. This is my friend, it's a girl. Either way, hey, hello. I, uh, um, if you want to answer, like they ask you, is it a ball, right? Pokoroa. Uh -huh. What if you, I mean, I know you can say monks, uh, hasis kithkaros, but. Uh -huh. What do you want to say it is not a ball? You'd say pokot mongoros? Uh, not mongo, not mongo, togoros. 
दो को डोस दो को डोस Introduce yourself and someone else along the following lines. Mary Chahujifkatos or Mary Chahujifkatos. My name is Mary. Okay. Who can tell me what is a creek for Mary? Mili. 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 That's the word for Mary. Mili. Mili. So you would say Mili Chahujifkatos or you would say Mili Chahujifkatos. This is my friend. Yad Anhisit Os. Yad Anhisit Dos. He or she is a student. Joga Hijat Os. Joga Hijat Os. He is a man. I just put, you can say Honanwat Os or you can say Honanwat Os. Okay, right here. Now we're just going back over this because we're going to start side and then we're going to go back over it later. Okay. Jogat oa, jogat oa, aha, ihe jogat os. That's all you have to answer with this ihe, and just just saying ihe will take care of the whole thing. But due to the fact that you don't have to put jogat, this is where situation and environment comes in. Because if I say yeah, yeah, see, I'm showing it. That's is what this is doing. So if you got that in your hand and say. Jogat oa or jogadoa, you would say ihe, that's it. You can just say ihe instead of saying ihe jogados. Because it's right here, this is where environment comes in, okay? Situation environment. Mahokti oa, mahokti doa. Okay, so if you say ma, you're saying that girl. You're actually specifically saying, is that a girl? See? So environment and situation comes into that. All you would have to say is eh, because instead of saying eh, unless now you can't tell. You know what time, do you know what I'm saying? Unless you can't tell and then they know that they would tell you. You see what I'm saying? Um, and sometimes it's hard to tell now, especially, you know, from the back, you know, I'll use, they got long hair, you know, like my grandsons, they all got long hair. And, you know, they, if they stood next to, if I didn't know my granddaughter, my grandsons, they both got long hair. If I didn't know what they look like from the back, you couldn't tell. But I'm going to tell you, one of my grandsons is six foot nine. <laughs> He's almost, he's gonna be over seven foot. He, he's got calves as big as my thighs, I'm gonna tell you. He's got calves as big as my waist, and he is huge. So and he wears like a 13 and a half shoe. So I can tell which is him. But sometimes from the back, you can't tell, you know, whether they're girls or boys. And uh, so it's kind of hard, okay? So my Mahaya. Baksangi Joga Mahaya is on and you off to where uh uh Mohan yeah uh Baksangi uh uh hook to get a book to scorn. You know, I said Ma hook to get a book out Madan uh uh Abia this gets in oh and Azabal Gellet Abia and Jibana hungry leg, even no one. Oh, cool, yeah, so on. Who uh, gets it? Um, hope again, uh, a jacaya someone gets it. Oh, okay, Makirothin, I wear it. I am so on. Moin, mother, get a good, get a good eye on those. Uh, so on, so on, oh, I got it. And look to those come on, uh, Jibana, mad on. Get the door, so on. Hey, get. <laughs> yeah, she said she had girls in there. She thought they were all girls, but there was one boy. <laughs> See, you can't tell nowadays. So, but in this situation right here, you know, just say you know, you know, this would be situation environment. And so, yeah, just like I said, you know, my grandkids, they, they all, all my grandsons. They got hair down to their waist, except for maybe one. 
And that one sticks out like a sore thumb, I guarantee. Because <laughs> they'll be all out. And, you know, he's the only one with the short hair. He doesn't like his hair long. Of course, he's a no football player. So he says, I can't have that. You know, I, I can't. It, you know, it's hot, he says. So he don't have his long hair. But, you know, you can't tell. You can't tell anymore. But the only way, or when you can't tell, like I said, this is a situation environment. My unhissed or my unhissed or this uh, to me is like saying, is this my friend? Or is it my friend? Now, this uh, to me is not really, you could say a hand, but it could be monks. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Situation environment wouldn't work here. And to me, it's better if you ask this question instead of you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. So Mahaya? Uh huh. <laughs> would you use it if you if it was somebody you hadn't seen in a long time and you were surprised and said, Is this my friend? Yeah, and you could probably, yeah. Yeah, just kind of making that expression. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, mm -hmm. you know, is this my, you know, is this my friend? You know, you see the what? You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would work. Here we go again with that gender <laughs> thing. Ma ho nan wat oa or ma ho nan wat oa. Is it a man? Is it a man? Um. <laughs> we've had this problem too you know uh, and I'm telling you they dress just alike you know and uh, uh, like I said I have uh, three I had three daughters and then I had you know I have eight grandkids and they all have little friends the little ones I can tell the teenager ones and the above and then my daughters, they would bring home friends and they would play set there, play Monopoly, or they'd be playing cards or something. And of course, I was the hostess, so I'd be having popcorn. I always had something for them, pop and stuff for them. So they'd be sitting there, and I, my husband would say, is that a boy or girl? Is that a boy? You know. I said, go ask him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know they always had people over there. They sit there and watch movies and you know stuff like that. And by morning, we find them all on the living room floor. You know, in the morning they'd be all on the living room floor sleep because mm -hmm. they watched the movies all night long. So, <laughs> okay, look here. I'm hissy, okicha oa. Or and he see bokicha doa. Bokicha is a ball player because it's derived from boko. Boko is a ball. Bokicha, bokicha is like a ball player. It plays with the ball. Okay, they play with the ball. So any ball player, whether it's baseball, basketball, football, is a bokicha. Long as it's got a ball with it, it's a bokicha. Okay. And you would say in here bokicha dos. In fact, this this uh my little grand, my little eight-year-old, uh, she she's a bokicha. And uh she just finished her little league and she took they took championship. So now the other one started. Every the little grandkids I got living with me. They're all they're sports minded kids. So one plays, they all play softball in the summer, they all play basketball in the winter. So we're here and there, you know, here and there, here and there. Well, my oldest grand, my little, my one that lives with me, that 12 year old, she's got a tournament this coming week in the elite. You know, she's in the elite. They're going to have a tournament for the elite. So she's going to play in that. And I'm like, you know, um, okay, and the other one just got done last week, you know, so we're, 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 I'll tell you, we're, and that didn't come from me. I'm not very athletic, but my husband was now. <laughs> he was athletic. He was, okay, look here. 
Mary hooked it over. Omili hooked it over. Okay, where do you get this? How can you tell? You would say, eh, mm -hmm. Mili, me, hokti dos. But see, this tells it right here, isn't it? Mary, is, is Mary a girl? Well, Mary is a, a female name. Mm -hmm. So, Mili, hokti dos, it's a female. So, you would say, eh, mm -hmm. see, right there, already tells you um, it's, a, it's a girl. It's a hokti dos. Mili, hokti dos. You would say, eh, mm -hmm. <laughs> hokti dos. Okay. <coughs> Look here. Examples. Is ho chetska doa? Is ho chetska doa? Is ho chetska dos? Okay. So, what would you say here? Is he joga dos? So, right here, you would say joga doa. Joga dos. Joga doa. Mahaya do, so you would say Mahaya doa. Is he a teacher? Mahaya doa. In he book do, so right here you would say e book doa. Hokti doa. And see this right here saying e he hokti doas. Yes? So right here you would say, is this paper? You would say, uh -huh, it is paper. Is this a teacher? Yes, it's a teacher. Is this a ball? Mm -hmm. It is a ball. Is this a girl? This is good exercise for y'all guys. This is good exercise. Okay, right here. What's this? What's this? And you know, this is every day. What's this? Uh, my little grandson brought something in yesterday. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, so I had to be at home. And, and uh, he brought something in on his palm of his hands, and I don't trust him what he has in his hands. You know, and he said, look what I have, Grandma. And I'm like, what is it? <laughs> and then when he showed it to me, I said, what's this? You know, what's this? Instead, I said, no, nah, get up. I said, no, nah, you do I? And just by the tone of my voice, he knew that I was asking a question because I said, no, nah, you do I? And it, it looked like a rock, but it looked like a nut. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what it was and he didn't either. I said, go throw it away then, you know, go throw it outside. He didn't know what it was either. But see, we say, no, nah, you do I? What's this? Here. Here means. What? This, ain't it? Yeah. Okay, your vocabulary is if is a dog, forsi is a cat, fojo is a duck, taco is a horse, waga is a cow, chuada is a goat, binwa is a turkey, shokha is a chicken. Okay, so nagit boko. Does your granddaughter play? Um, she's a basketball and softball. She's a fast pitch softball pitcher in softball. And she is a, uh, she is the, um, in a, a football game, basketball right here. Point. No, no, I don't know anything uh, basketball. Uh, <laughs> she can't, she plays down low. <laughs> On the ball court, I can't remember what they're called. But yeah, she's a fast pitch pitcher as far as I, and she's tall for a 12 year old. She's big as I am, bigger than I am, almost tall as I am. She's a big bone girl. And the other day she went to go watch OU play and she enjoyed it. She said, man, that's where I'm going to be. And I said, if you try it, you can, you know, but let's get the school work out of the way first. <laughs> okay. Chihuahua is a goat, turkey is a binwa, hog or a pig is sukha, chicken is dorosi, goose, sashakwa, sheep, yabifega, tame animal, abuiga. Okay, guys, look at all the sounds that you went over and you thought was just so redundant and could get boring. Look at all these sounds, look what it all made. Look here. All these words in Muscogee. Okay. What in Muscogee is Nagi? 
And what questions and other questions would call a long answer? The sentence ends in A. Ah. Ah, okay, look here. Yeah, is hot is hot jetska os or is hot jetska dos? This is a pin. He a nugget owa. Listen now. Yeah, not he a nagi doa. Either way, doa or owa. He a nugget owa. Hear that tone? Hear that tone, guys? Yeah. He a nugget owa. What is this? Here, Nagidoa. It ends in a ah. Hear that ah? Here. What in Muskogee is not in what questions? Okay. Questions and other questions requiring a long answer. The sentence ends in a ah. Okay. In a ah. <coughs> Look here. Right here. He at Nagit Oa or he at Nagidoa. What is this? Is hot jetska os or is hot jetska dos? It's a pen. A pen or a pencil is this hot jetska. Either way, okay? Either way, a pen or a pencil is is hot jetska. It doesn't matter, okay? This is a book. Ma. Oh, should be yeah, yeah, joga dos or yeah, joga dos. This should be yeah. Mark this out. This is my mistake, guys. This should be why yeah, because it says this is a book. Okay, what is that? Ma. Okay, here we go. Ma nagit owa or ma nagi doa. Hear that long ah? This is where that sound comes in. Remember when we were studying sounds? was the V, ah, was the A. Okay, so you're saying, ma nagid owa, hear that question? Ma nagid owa, it's a book. Jogat os, or jogat os, okay? Notice that the question word doesn't move in Muskogee, okay? It doesn't move now. There's a short way to owa, and owa, okay, now this is where it is. Owa, hear that up, uh, and owa. Just use D and D, long E right here now, D and D respectively, okay? So there's different ways there, owa and owa, okay? Here is what just got owa. Here is for Jetska Doa. Is this a pen? But there's a short way. Remember, we learned this in previous classes. Is this a pen? Here is for Jetska D. Remember that D? We studied that in the previous class. D. Is this a pen? It means the same thing as this long one on top. It's the same thing. It's just shorter. Just D. Just use D or D, long E respectively. See, remember we studied D. Remember I was telling you, long as you have, this is a question all the time. This is at the end. D. You don't even have to say this. You can just say, is this a pin? Same way up here. Here is Hocheska Doa or here is Hocheska Doa. Doa is Hocheska Doa. It's, it's a long way right here, but this is the short way. Here is Hocheska D. And same way with speaking, guys. Same way. You use the same thing speaking. Either way, it's understood though. Okay. Here Nagit Doa. Here Nagi Doa. Okay, here nagidi, short way, here nagidi. But listen to that doa, doa, here nagidoa. You say here nagidi. 
Just the same tone, guys. Just the same tone. Are you getting mm -hmm. Yeah. Any questions so far on this now? Because we studied D before. Mahaya, huh? I, I know we talked about this before. You may have already explained this, but how, when do you... Um, when do you use the difference, like the long versus the short way? Is it like when you're speaking to an elder or not, or is it just what comes out of your mouth or just whatever comes out of your mouth? It doesn't okay. matter whether it's an elder or lung person, they're going to know what you're saying. I mean, well, more elder. There's not very many youngsters that would, um, that knows, but like, if you spoke it to me, I wouldn't know what you're saying. Even the elder would. You know, my um, my grandma, she 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 spoke to it. She didn't have a um long as you spoke it. Everybody is it uh, is there it is do you also um is like one like part of ceremony or church or something versus the other, or is it just the same where it just interchanges? It's the same. Uh -huh. There's the same. Is it regional? Or could be like regional or just yeah, it's just spoken either way. Either way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's understood. Yeah. It's understood. Yeah. And then you know, there are some things that's in the ceremony on that that are spoken different. But as far as this, this is what you know, you can speak to a chief or anything, but this and then it's understood. You know? It's just elderly. Okay. What is this? He nagi oa. He nagi doa. What's this? Hianagidi. <laughs> Either way. Or you can say Hianagidi. See? Hianagidi. I use Hianagidi. Or sometimes I'll say Dua. It just depends on the speaker, you know? It doesn't have no certain. It's just whatever comes out of my mouth for me, you know? And like I said, I don't never pay attention till I really. Like that one day, like I was telling you, you know, something come out of my mouth and was going, I thought, what did I say in English? What did I just say? You know, and it was like, okay, I need to start paying attention to what I'm saying because as speakers, we never, it's just a natural thing that we just speak. We never think about it, you know, and this is what's helped me a lot on this too, okay? Another small word is da. Da. What about this? <laughs> about this is da. What about this? About how about this? Here da. What about that? My da. <laughs> yeah, and that small word, that da, that small sound, means what about? My da. Yep, it's a complete sentence. And you can say, um, like, uh, like I'll say, say y'all all go into town. And what if one's left? Mother, are you Hannah? Mother, how about her? Is she going? Or how about him? Is she going? Mother, are you Hannah? Or, uh, you know, uh, you're getting food on the table. Mother, how about that bowl? See, it's just so, it's just, uh, what about that boat? What about that boy? Mother. And you want to cut boards or something and you're asking, Hiada, we're going to cut this one? Hiada, Watha, honey, yeah? Are we going, what about this one? Are we going to cut this? See how that is used? Mm -hmm. That small sound, and we're going to go back over this one because this is where we're going to uh, be here, is duck. It's just like saying, what about? That small sound is what about? Mother, Iada, Fujuda, Ifada, Oshida. So one day we was getting home and <coughs> we had a dog, or my grandkids had a dog named Buster. And I didn't see him. And I said, Buster da. What about Buster? See? Buster, the. I haven't seen him. 
I don't see him. Where's Buster? And he come around the house and my kids, my great kid, that's their dog. They said, there he is, grandma, there he is, there he is. <laughs> There's Buster. And um, so see that, 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 you know, is a useful word. I think I use it quite a bit. I think I do. I think I use it quite a bit. Okay. So y'all know the word da. Hiya or hiya nagidoa. Ihe waga os or ihe waga dos. Okay. Any questions, guys? Because we're going to go out, we're going to go back over this, uh, starting with nagid uh, right here. Boxy. Oh no, boxy or say. Day after tomorrow. So this one is. This that da is, and we use it a lot, you know. He and waga oa or he and waga doa and waga dos. And he waga os. A buiga doa, a buiga oa, or a buiga doa, and he a buiga dos. A buiga os. See, this is all it is, guys. This is just learning the basics of Muscogee. Look here. Hiada, hiada. Nagidi. Hiada is what about? What is this? What about this? What is this? Dolosit os. Dolosit dos. Ehe, dolosit os. Hia. Dolosit. We got oa. Look here. This saying yes, it's a chicken. This what? right here is this a chicken? Uh -huh. It is a chicken. So, you know, this is all it is, guys. And this is what we're trying to teach you how these words work. Remember, I said endings and beginnings has a lot to do with language. Tones has a lot to do with language. This is what we're doing right now. Tones, endings, beginnings, it's all in that. And they can have different meanings. The tones can change the meanings. They can have the ending is changing it. It's, it's all, it's just basic words, but adding what? Tone. Tones mm -hmm. or even the endings and beginnings. Mm -hmm. Because these are all, we've all studied with this. Okay. He a joga jadi os. He a joga jadi dos. This book is red. Ma joga hatki oa or ma joga hatki doa. Is that a book? Is that book white? See, this is this is here. You just now went over this. Now we're going to go back over this here soon. Here's your vocabulary. Red is jadi. See, you're learning new words now. Red is jotty. Blue is polati. And a lot of people right here, they mispronounce this. They call this polati. They're going in English. Polati, it's polat. Remember, you got two consonants. Polati. Polati. And you're not saying that first D, hmm. but it, your tongue is on top of your palate. Polati. Holati. And a lot of kids will say holati. And it does look like holati. <laughs> you look at it in English, but you got to switch over from English to Muscogee. Holati. Yellow is lani. White, hati. Black, lusty. See that? I want you to listen to these sounds. Red, jadi. Blue, holati. Day. Yellow, lani, white, hutki, black, lusty. Okay. Hear this, ma that <laughs> can be used with nouns. Hear joga, this book. See, you can do that. Hear joga, right here. Hear joga, it can even be paper or book. Okay. This is where situation and environment comes in. If you got a book, 
it's a book yoga. But if it's a sheet of paper, it's yoga. Yeah. See, here's a book. Here, yoga. Either way, this is where environment comes in, okay? Or yoga, piece of paper. It can be either one, okay? <coughs> So this is her situation, and that has a lot to do with language. Um, so uh, the other day, I I was aggravated. You know, we was we had our three grandkids for one thing, all three of them on a Saturday, and one was in the bedroom, one was flying this way, the other was flying that way, and I was telling my husband, I said, "Get that leash, no idea." <laughs> I don't joke. <laughs> I told him, I said, we, you know, we told him, let's go walk out in the woods. But we got outside, it was cold. <laughs> so I said, y'all want to go for a ride? And they said, yeah. So he said, where's the car keys? And I said, ma, 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 I don't know, had times. And I just got up and got it myself, you know. I was going, wrong. oh, ma, ma. And he would, and the kids were running everywhere because they got up with this extra energy, you know. And I was like, get him out of truck, let's get out of here. <laughs> but anyway, I was going, Ma, 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 and, oh. oh, and you know, and I was like, oh, you know, and I got him, got him myself, you know, and, and then I was told the kids, get your coats on, you know. Telling a kid to get their coats on for 15 minutes was like, because they start talking about something else. <laughs> and then they would start, their attention was somewhere else. And one was sitting there and I said, you got your socks on? It was my middle little girl. She said, no. I said, why? <laughs> Knock storm in. <laughs> And we had a lot of fun. And I was talking to him in Creek at that time. And they think it's, you know, they, they think I'm playing when I do that. Mm -hmm. I'll say, knock stool, man. And they'll say, and they'll just grin at me and smile mm -hmm. at me, you know. And I have a lot of fun with that. That's when I start speaking Creek. <laughs> Here, Joga. This book. My Joga. That book. Sentences like this book is read follow the pattern below. Now, listen. Noun phrase D, adjective D, us. Noun, he a chogat, jadit, us. But you can say he a chogat, jadit, us. Okay, here it is. Noun, choga, adjective, jadi is dos. It says sentences like this book is following the pattern below. Noun, phrase, the adjective, the os. And this adjective, don't let it right here where it says togat. Don't let that confuse you. Long as this is there, it's still following the same pattern. Okay. This book is read. os. This is read. The book is read. That's all it's saying. And you can see it. Yoga is book. Mm -hmm. This is here. And dos is is and Johnny is read. So if you sit it, it's only going, this book is read, but this is saying book, this book read is. Okay. This book read is. But it's hoche, it's hoche chkat lusty or, or Okay. That pen D, black D is. Is that pen black? Okay. Notice that adjectives in in long E in Muscogee. Okay. Don't remember that. Notice that adjectives end in long E in Muscogee. You can use D here too. You can use the D. My is hojeska lusty doa or is hojeska lusty doa. Is that pin black? That's the long way. But you can say my is hojeska lusty D. Short way. Any questions on that? <coughs> it means the same thing. 
Mahaya, uh-huh. I had a question about the colors, and I I know I'll slaughter this. Haya haya de dosh. I had had somebody like say to me that women. I don't know what where this came from. It was somebody that was saying that women wear blue and men wear red in the tribe, and that that was some kind of symbolic. What? And I don't remember who told me that, but it was it was a long t- it was a long time ago. But ha- have you seen that? No. Now I know other tribes might, but for us, um, there's no certain colors. You know, for us, you know, there's no uh, colors certain for men or women. Um, men were red, we were red. You know, men were any colors, we do too. There's no significant color. You know, um, I I personally don't like red myself, but my mm-hmm. husband does. What does Knox no. Dorman translate to? Does it translate to what? Knox Dorman, why? Yeah, why? Knock. It's not like what, but it's saying Knox Dorman. It's saying why? It don't have no what in there. It's just, it's just the, like a knock storming. What is it? Why is it? What is it like knock? Oh, what? Why? It's storming is why, but knock is like, how can I put that in English? How can I translate that? Let me think here. Knock is storming. What is happening? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, somebody got me there, didn't they? Okay. So knock is like what and why? Translate. Does it translate to what? Why? What does knock storm? Knock storm. And I just wrote a sentence about that. I gotta do a recording later and I'll put uh that in there. How can I translate that? I'm trying to get it to where you'll understand knock storming. Why is it? Why is it? That's the only way. Why is it? Yeah. Why is it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Why is it? And now I have to I'll have to explain that. Okay. So like um, we don't have no certain colors, but you know, this is a good way to learn colors. Jadi, Olati, Lani, Hutki, Lusty. Now we do have like Hutki um, means peace. You know, we, we do use a lot of white. We do the, a lot of white, especially at, you know, at the um, grounds, they use a lot of white for peace. They use white feathers and everything. Okay. Here, short way. My is is that pin black? or this book is red. Majoga Hatkidoa. Okay, now listen then. This is where you're gonna. One is statement and one is a question. Okay, look here. He a ja he a joga jadi dos. He a joga jadi. Okay, excuse me. He a joga jadi dos or he a joga jadi dos. See, you're saying this is a this book is red. But listen to this. Majoga hatkit oa or majoga hatkit oa. Is that look quiet? One's a statement and one's is a question. Okay. And I'm going to get back on that question here about the, I'm trying to get it translated into the right way in English. Um, Chadi is red. Hatkit is white, holati is blue, lani is green, yellow or brown. Okay, you know, now we got these little books that we teach Head Start. We got Fahilani, uh, Yalaha Omi, like an orange, uh, Chadi Omi for pink, like red. Back in my day, this is where situation and environment came in as lani because it meant yellow, green, or brown. So if they said it was, say it was August, and they said that field is Lonnie. In August, what do you expect? It was either yellow or brown, wasn't it? 
See, that's where it came. So we knew by the situation and environment what color it was. But we use this for all for green, yellow, and brown. And that's where situation and environment came in. And we knew how to distinguish it. I don't know how we did, but then mm -hmm. that's the only way. And they say Luja Lanidos. Luja is naturally green. We knew that it was green. The turtle, they were talking about a green turtle. Okay. So this was one word <coughs> and situation environment would tell you what that color was. Uh, so that's how we learned this. And, but now, you know, for learners to know, and if you want me to, I'll show you the colors. Would it be better if I said uh, Yalaha Omi, like the fruit orange, similar to an orange, or Busco? Omi was purple, like similar to a gray. Oklani um, um, means over the yellow. Uh, that was brown. Uh, let's see. Kind of like a banana turns, it starts green, and yeah. yellow, and then brown. Yeah, uh -huh. Oklani. Oklani. And then uh, uh, Bahilani, green like green like grass, you know, but this is how I learned it right here. It says, all have long E at the end. Hear this in mind that can be used with nouns. Hear yoga. See? Hear yoga. Majoga. And listen to it. That's just saying uh, like this. This is this book or that book. And then, and you know, they say, where did you see that pattern at? My yoga. In this yoga. See, that's that's how that is used, you know. Um, any questions so far? We're going to go back over this tomorrow. I mean, mm -hmm. Thursday. Sentences like, this book is read, follow the pattern below. Noun phrase, the adjective, the. Or, but it can be uh, either way you speak this, either way, he a joga jadi dos, long e. He a joga jadi dos, long e. Is red, okay? Is This book is red. So is is like dos, okay? Or owa, okay? Doa. That's where this is going to come in, and this is a little bit getting in debt. But we're going to go back over these until we learn them. If you have any questions, this is it, okay? Is that pen black? My is for lustit oa, or my is for doa. Either way, this is doa though. This is doa right here without it adding to it, okay? Notice that adjectives in an E in Muskogee. You can D here too. <laughs> you can use D here. My isolcheska lestit oa. Or you can say my isolcheska lestit oa. That's a long way. Or you can say my isolcheska lestit it. See? See, that's the end of it, right? Here. But there's a lot more. I got a lot more coming. So we're going to start off Bakshi with, I want y'all to come on and we're going to do some of this right here, right here. Mahaya. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> uh, can you go back to um, uh, the beginning of those colors? Uh, By the way, Haditsi means wait, and I'll get there. Okay. Uh, right here. Uh, here. Just above there. This one, uh, just above, the paragraph above. Uh, where it says, uh, uh, 
Okay, uh, I didn't get that. Uh, about the tame animal, the word tame. Yeah. Uh, aboka, is that is that right? Aboka. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So strolling, um, Magogi, a uh, wild animal. No, bonata bon is wild. Okay, bonata. So that again, bonata is wild, and abuiga is like tame. Bonata is wild. There's a difference. Bonata means wild animals. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, abuiga means like uh, something that's uh, pinned up. It's in the yard. Abuiga. Well, you know, just like a cat. You know, yeah. you could have a tame cat yeah. and a, a a wild cat. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, but man man the word uh, wild. If you just say boshi, you would just say boshi. You know, and they know it's tame. But if you say like a wildcat, you would say um, like uh, they got kuwakuji, bobcat, bobcat, kuwakuji, or um, um, not gonna do it. Kuwakuji is a bobtail cat, and uh, I'm talking about uh, like a cat that is. Uh, uh, either it's tame, you know, and it's housebroken or something like that, or else, like we have uh, cats that are feral. They're uh, they're not tame. They've been they've been out wherever, and uh, so you can't you know <clears throat> you can't get close to them without fighting you. Okay, so just as a domesticated cat is bossy, but a, like you're saying, a cat. That is not tame would be Boji Monija. That's the word. That's the word I was looking for. Uh huh. Moniji. Because <clears throat> that's the word we used. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. But then okay. there's also the ones that are out in the woods, and that's called Bonata. And that's like the bobcat, like Kuwakoji. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's that. You know, Kuwakoji this. Uh, <coughs> so, when you're talking about a domesticated cat, boshi, it's a boshi, domesticated. But even though it's domesticated and wild, you know, people can't touch it, it's called boshi honija. Honija, yeah. That's, still, the, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, and it's still considered a buiga. You see what I'm saying? Okay. But a bobcat is ponata, which is kuwakoji. So what is Ponija? Ponija is wild. Wow. Wow. Uh-huh. Like, you know, they even have wild men like our Igbo shy and stuff. They call it Ishtibonija. A wild man. And that means that he's out in the woods. Don't mean that he's like wild, wild, crazy, you know. Showing what I did. Ponija. Ponija, it's uh uh H O N E C B C E C B as a Victor H O N E C B C B uh huh Onija. <laughs> So I just, whenever he means See? it. See? Oh, Nija. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So whenever you need to type something, <coughs> you can type it and then just make sure you get that. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So see, there's a difference between bonata and uh, abuiga. Abuiga is like tame animals. Bonata is wild. But being domesticated, a buiga like a boshi. So you would just say wildcat, Honija. Okay. But when you get into like bobcats, wildcats, it'd be bonata. And then it like a guapuji is a bobcat. So you know that's wild, you know. So 
That's how you distinguish the difference. And that's to get that spelling P O N E G A. Onija. My dog. Uh -huh. You know, we had uh, uh, my, when my daughters, my, my three daughters were growing up, I guess they were, they're all three years apart. So one was like maybe if one was seven, the other one was like one was seven, that was three years, three years. If one was 10, the other one, they were all three years apart. And uh, well, the first two is four year, and then the last one is three years apart, three and a half years. So, um, you know, we, we'd uh, buy them these, you know, we, we had all kinds of animals, I swear. If we bought one, we bought, we had ducks, we had pot billy pigs, we had, we had mice, we had gerbils, we had all this other stuff, chickens and whatever you, whatever you want. We had them. And, uh, you know, uh, we had a farm. We had a farm. <laughs> and, and, you know, puppies and stuff, we had all those. And we had a cat that got run over and she had five kids. Mm. Newborn. Mm. So, you know, me and my me and my girls, we raised those cats on uh, a bottle. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you they were the tamest cats we ever seen. <laughs> mm -hmm. They were they they wanted to be by us all the time. They stayed with us all the time. Like the we thought they thought we were mom. <laughs> you know, and, and of course, you know, we go, we went to Walmart and bought the milk and we bought the little bottles and they would, um, they would drink from those bottles. <laughs> we fed those bottles from the time they was probably about five days, maybe four days old. They were, you, they didn't have their eyes open when the mother got ran over. So we took them in and we, we had to, you know, and if it wasn't for my girls, I probably wouldn't have but my girls, they brought them in. <laughs> And my husband goes, let's go to Walmart. We got to buy some bottles. So here we go. We went and bought them bottles. And you know, they were about, maybe about two weeks old. They started biting the nipples off of them. <laughs> <laughs> they got teeth. They were biting the nipples off. And you know, and they're little bitty nipples. Anyway, I don't know how many bottles we went through. But you know, they were like, they weren't, they weren't uh, Honiji. Boy, they were tame. They wanted to be in a house. They followed us everywhere. And finally, it got to where those girls, when they go to bed, those cats be right there. Mm -hmm. They weren't protectors, but they were just right there with them. And I told mine, get away, get away, you know, get away. <laughs> I don't like cat hair. <laughs> so any questions so far? We got six minutes. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh-huh. I, I don't know if it's a question exactly, but the conversation about Lonnie being the three colors, I've uh -huh. sat a lot. I think about that a lot. You know how you talk about it, you try to get in the mind of uh -huh. what, who, who spoke the language. And I actually was talking about it with my husband. Um, we were sitting at Acosislaco, um, the lake uh -huh. here, Tohogalegala, um, Tohogalega. Uh -huh. And when you said that today, it just dawned on me that like <clears throat> the reeds that we were looking at, when we're sitting at that lake, I had those three colors at the same time. So I don't know if it was like that kind of thinking where it was even all at the same time, brown and green and yellow. I, I don't know. I just, it, I, it's just one of those quirky things I think about, but. Um, That's anyway. what I was saying right there. That's where you need to be. That's where you need to be. Because, and I will say most of them will agree with me. To be to know what this Lottie is, either it could be, that's kind of thinking it takes. Mm -hmm. That's where you need to be. And, and you know, people's going to say, ah. it's the Johnny thinking. Yeah, but you're getting, ah. that, think, you're getting to that native, that um, thinking. You must go get thinking. Yeah. yeah, it's where you're getting to. And that's where you need to be. And people will say, you know what? That's what she said, quirky. But Actually, if you were, you know, anybody else would say that's what you think. That's why a lot of our native people are considered different. Yeah, different. because we don't think the same. Yeah, we don't ah. think. See, so I, I am Sajati. I just am not Muskogee. Yeah. So yeah. I was, I was already doing the. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I that's just always thought I was. I always thought I it. was quirky. I would agree. You need to, that's okay. where you need to, is that Good. quirky, 
you know, uh, European would call us crazy because we're different and how this language works, but that's where you need to be. You're getting that girl. More spiritual words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Did about... you hear her? Did you hear her? Listen, guys. Uh, Stajati is more spherical. We know things touch other things, and, and European is more lineal from one, two, three, four, not spherical, not rounded, not connected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, I've always thought that way. I've always been that way. Yeah. Uh -huh. And everybody else always called me quirky. So this is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you're in there. That's where we need to be, all of us. You know, okay. that's where I am. <laughs> well, what is <laughs> but, Mahaya, uh, on you, um, some, um, are they biased, you know, uh, not gonna get there, I don't know what, a hunger, uh, just to debug it with you know what, um, yet, uh, yet, uh, who just got on those, uh, maggot mucking, he says that. Oh, Jeff got this. <laughs> and uh, so she started, uh, uh, Maggie, a uh, uh, you know, and she said, I would have never thought of that. <laughs> you know, you just, that's not a man, but I don't know. She died, but I don't know. She said, but I don't know. It's more in will argue doing much so on. Yeah, you have to speak it. You know, and think it. It's got to come from here. Once you get it in here, people, it's going to stay. You're getting there, Amy. That's where you need to be. You need to be right there. That's one reason public schools don't honor our native kids. Exactly. You know, native kids got a different way of learning. In fact, they feel out of place anyway. Because I don't know why. So you see the big picture. Yeah. So I, I had problems in school, in public schools. And yeah. then uh, I would ask, you know, on these tests, well, is it this way or is it that way? And they're like, there's only one way. I'm like, no, it can be this way yeah. or that way. And <laughs> I would come up with, with instances where they're like, well, I never thought of that. And yeah. that's through my whole uh, right. public school is I've never thought of that. <laughs> says our kids they circle they do and you know they have different thoughts we have different learning and that's what the european teachers they um sometimes they make our kids feel out of place to begin with mm -hmm. you know um uh, so you know um that's why a lot of them don't finish tall exactly school. they don't because finish school because they they're, not yeah. they're not understood yes they're not understood that there's more than one way to teach. Yeah. Not just one way. Yeah. So like, and my kids, you know, when they would, when my three daughters, when they were in school, they'd ask, uh, what is your background? And they wanted like this European style, I put tradition. Right. Traditional Indian. And I didn't mean they were stop dancers or what traditional, I mean, they were raised Muscogee. So even under J-O-M papers, which is Johnson O'Malley stuff and like that, I would answer. And they knew we were a two language home, mm -hmm. English and Muscogee. And so I would answer in a way that made them native. Mm. See, I answered, and I don't know if they had, well, you know, just like my little girl had a question the other day, why was, um, why did the Muscogee people, why did the Muscogee, I just said Creek people, migrate to Oklahoma? I said they did not migrate. Yeah. They were forced. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. And they had that question, migrate. Uh -huh. And I said, no, migrate. that's not right. And I said, <clears throat> this question say forced removal. Right. Right. Yeah. But it had migrated. <laughs> like they just migrated on their own, you know, just living. <laughs> And and I said no, they were forced. It was forced removal, and you know things like that. I want to. I want migrate, and I told them, "You're Muscogee people. You're a proud Muscogee people. You know, don't you ever deny what you are. You know." And I I dress traditionally, like I said, my little grandson. He wore the ribbon vest in the homecoming. He wore a ribbon dress in a ribbon shirt in his homecoming because I wanted him to identify 
what he was at a young age. He needed to identify himself. I wanted everybody to know that he was, in fact, when I was growing up, I didn't. This know I don't know if y'all can see right here. Right here. Yeah. Can y'all see this? Uh -huh. He has braids. He has braids and see his vest. He's got black dress pants on, but his vest is ribbon. Interesting. And that's what I dressed him in as a homecoming little uh, usher, I guess. And that's what he was dressed in. I, I wanted him to identify. See, there's a, his little escort. But he was dressed as a native, as a Muscogee Creek. Mm -hmm. And that's how I dress all my kids. Even my daughters, when they went through homecoming, one didn't, but the rest, they drew, they had ribbons of some kind. But see, he's dressed as a native, and he has long hair. He's seven. He, this is a seven-year-old. Oh, thank you. He is a handsome little guy, but boy, I'll tell you, he can rush your patience like no. <laughs> and he, and Maya, he, huh? on Thursday, um, I'll tell you all the uh, lesson I taught this uh, art teacher. He was trying to teach a lesson, but he wasn't getting across to the, the kids. And so, um, anyway, I'll tell you about it uh, Thursday because it's kind of it's kind of lengthy, and your time is gone. Okay, how's <laughs> this My son Major says, "How's this Tiskoji? Little clock, don't you not go your name bigger? She hit off this chick. A boxy a sand. Okay, boxy is tomorrow. A sand means over there." So it means over tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I know. Do you think I have it? Much. Oh, I know. Do you think I have this? Oh, I know. 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 Oh, I know.